Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Did You Know featuring Kha'Zix. Please don't forget to throw in a like if you did enjoy this episode and check out the previous episodes as well. But without further ado, let us jump straight into his abilities. If a Nocturne on your team were to ulti, the enemy team would get very low vision on Kha'Zix and as a result there's a very strong chance that it will automatically proc Kha'Zix's passive. Kha'Zix's passive can also be very useful in order to check if a bush or certain area is warded. Walk into the area and if you do not get your passive proc, chances are it is probably warded. And if your passive does proc, then there is most likely no vision for the enemy team there. While on the subject, there is a way to get his passive proc even if the enemy team has vision on you and this is by his ultimate. His ultimate, no matter what happens, no matter if there's a pink cord or if they can see you in stealth, it will activate your passive and it will grant your next auto attack to deal more damage. Keep this in mind. There is actually a very easy way to tell if Kha'Zix's passive is ready or not. If his claws are glowing, it is ready to use. If it's not glowing, however, his passive is not ready and will not deal extra damage. There is a particle effect that will notify you as a player if you are in isolation range of the enemy Kha'Zix and will take more damage from him. If you walk into an isolation area, you will see purple things imitating out of Kha'Zix. If he is playing a mecha skin, you will see a warning sign on top of that Kha'Zix notifying you you are in the isolation range. Speaking of isolation, it will also work on enemy minions such as Dragon, jungle minions or even baron. Unlike Rangar's Q, Kha'Zix's Q will actually pop Sivir's spell shield so keep this in mind when playing against a Sivir or even a Nocturne. As of a recent patch, Kha'Zix is no longer able to use his W mid-flight with his E, however he can still use items and or summoner spells such as Flash and Ignite while he is still in the air. Keep in mind that Kha'Zix's upgraded ultimate reduces the damage by 50% only while he is stealth, meaning 1 second, but if it is timed well for a burst, it can be a huge win. Even though Kha'Zix's leap has him jumping, it will not actually jump over things like Caitlyn's trap or Nidalee's trap and it will still proc the effect on Kha'Zix as he lands down from his jump. It is typically useful to use his Q as a finisher or his last move as it deals more damage based on how wounded an enemy champion is. Unlike things like Graves' Q, Kha'Zix's W upgraded will not deal more damage if he is right beside an enemy champion. A prolonged fight with Kha'Zix must incorporate his ultimate not just for the damage reduction or move speed, but also for the extra damage it will give after it procs his passive on his next auto attack or even upgraded W. A typical combo for Kha'Zix assassination is to jump in, use your W auto attack and finish it off with the Q and reset the E. And lastly, there is actually a visual upgrade on Kha'Zix's in-game model for each ability that he upgrades. Larger claws for Q, spikes for W, wings for his E, and a different color if he upgraded his ultimates. Alright, let us jump into some really cool facts and lore about Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix and Rengar both share an event called The Hunt Is On, which I actually just recently covered in the previous video to this where I talked about Rengar. So if you want to see that, please click on the annotation on the video and it will lead you straight to that video. Kha'Zix was designed by Volti, who also made many other champions such as Quinn, Draven, Bane, Diana, Fiora, and many many more. Apparently Kha'Zix had a placeholder name called Teak. People thought that Kha'Zix was actually the replacement champion for an unreleased and cancelled champion called Omen, however, Morello stated himself that that is not the case. As stated before, the conflict between Rangar and Kha'Zix is actually a reference to the Alien vs Predator series. Kha'Zix's lore states that he constantly killed and devoured his prey to gather their strength and grow more powerful. I guess this explains why he keeps getting those extra evolve points from killing Rangar or as he reaches a certain level. Apparently in Kha'Zix's lore as well, he kept killing his prey with ease and while devouring a fresh prey, this is the first time that Rengar jumped at him and Kha'Zix went from being the hunter to the hunted. It is also the first time that Kha'Zix had felt his own blood spill. Kha'Zix's idea of evolution through consumption or assimilation is very similar with many things such as the Zerg from Starcraft, Tyranite from Warhammer, Cell from DBZ, and Borg from Star Trek. It seems that Kha'Zix's pose during his back or teleport animation is very similar to Monster from Cloverfield. Kha'Zix changes his posture when he is running in a bush to a more aerodynamic way so that he can hunt his prey even faster and more efficiently. If Kha'Zix upgrades his leap ability, which is his E, as he is walking around there is a slight chance that he will slightly jump up in the air as you can see a few times in this video. Did you know that Kha'Zix and Skarner both share a quote? Let's listen. Limb from limb. Limb from limb. 
Mecha Kha'Zix was the first launch skin that was priced at 1350 RP. In his regular artwork, it seems Kha'Zix has his Q, W, and his E upgraded but not his ultimate, stating that he has not yet killed Rengar or he would have that 4th point and it would have been upgraded. Also, it seems that he has his passive ready as well. Kha'Zix is one of the few champions to originate from the Void along with Kogma and Cho'Gath. It also seems to be a trend to have an ellipsis in the name of creatures that are from the Void. Alright guys, and that marks the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Kha'Zix. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please throw in a like if you did and share it with your friends or even favorite the video. And also write in the comments what you want to see next for the next episode. Also, I have a really new cool series on Machinima Realm that I really recommend checking out if you haven't yet called What Happens Next. So definitely check that out if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time.